What's going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be giving you my two cents on the whole heist information and uh, when heist will be released, my opinions on that and also why heist hasn't actually been released yet. Now with that said guys, if you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button down below guys as it does show you support these kind of videos and it helps me out greatly. So with that said, let's continue on with the video. So the main reasons I'm actually making this video today is not only to inform you guys on my opinions about heists and when heists will actually be released, but to also help you guys out because a lot of people around me have been getting banned recently. Rockstar are coming down heavy on absolutely everybody now releasing huge bands of waves, or wave bands sorry, and um, I don't want you guys to get banned so I'm going to be talking about that shortly, but with that said let's start the video off. So basically, the questions I keep getting asked on a day to day basis are when will heist be released, what is the heist release date, when are heist going to be released. All them kind of questions I keep getting asked on a day to day basis and the truth is Rockstar haven't actually made a release date for it yet, they keep postponing it, they keep putting it off and I'm going to talk to you guys about why they keep doing that very shortly. But yeah, in my opinion on when Heist will be released is very very shortly. Now, with the release date of games like Titanfall, another next gen and current gen titles, Rockstar are going to need to do something to keep a lot of GTA players on their game. Now the reasons behind this is because it's going to be something new. Or players are going to want to go ahead and try these new games out like Titanfall, like other games and uh, you know GTA are going to lose a bit of players at, at the least so Rockstar don't want that, Rockstar don't want any players moving away from the game so the best possible time for them to actually release heists is before games like Titanfall come out so they can keep the players there, they can keep the players interested and you know it, it keeps the game going. So anyway, that was my opinion on when Heist will be released. Hopefully some of you guys agree. And with that said, I now want to talk about why Heist haven't actually been released yet, why it keeps getting postponed, and how you guys can also avoid getting banned. So one of the main reasons why Heist haven't been released yet and the reason why it keeps getting postponed is solely down to the fact that there is still money exploits within the game. Like these DNS codes, money lobbies and game breaking money glitches, Rockstar need to focus on these before they carry on doing anything as this is what is kind of ruining GTA, like it, they can't bring out heists if there's no point in getting money from it because that is the whole reason of doing a heist. Of course there will be the fun side of doing it but it's also the side of robbing banks and getting money so Rockstar need to focus on patching these kind of things before they bring out DLCs. Now, that, like I said guys, that is the reason why, is because these money glitches keep surfacing, these DNS codes keep coming out, and Rockstar need to fix them. Now, don't get me wrong guys, I'm always going to keep posting RP glitches here and there, and all these other little glitches, because they don't get you banned guys. These little RP glitches or methods, or whatever you want to call them, they're not really too game breaking, they don't really gain you crazy amounts of reputation, they do gain you quite a bit, and they are the fastest ways to rank up, but they aren't too game breaking, which is why I can post them, and you guys won't get banned. Whereas the reason why I don't post money lobbies and DNS codes and game breaking money glitches is because you guys will get banned. So if any of you guys are using DNS servers or modded lobbies then you do need to be aware that there is a really high chance you guys are going to get banned, if not it's 100% because I know 7 or 8 YouTubers that all got banned in the same day from Rockstar, they are coming out with some huge ban wave now. They are going to be clamping down on these exploits and hacks and stuff within the game and that is the main reason why I don't post this content on my channel anymore because I don't want you guys getting banned, that is one of the main reasons why. I don't want any of you guys getting banned, you, you know, you guys are my subscribers, you guys come to my channel watch my videos, why would I want you guys getting banned or hurt for doing glitches that, you know, I would post on my channel? It's the reason why I don't post them anymore, I hope you guys realise that. I haven't posted any game breaking glitches for like, I don't know how long now. I've posted a few little RP exploits here and there, you know, and um, you know, kind of legit ways to make money, AFK races, Rockstar don't really care about them at the moment, Rockstar are trying to clamp down on these DNS codes and money lobbies, which is why I'm trying to tell you guys to keep away from this, because you guys will get banned 100% for doing them. Say no to DNS codes guys, it's not the way to go about doing things anymore, it's more about doing legit money methods or you know, small little money methods here and there. There's actually a few missions that you guys can do, a legit way of making money takes 2-3 to three minutes to do, and you get around 12 12k cash which is a really good mission and they're called Pot Shot and Coveted. I haven't actually posted these on my channel, you guys can go ahead and YouTube them if you want to know a good way of making legit money in Grand Theft Auto. With that said guys, like I said, these money lobbies, these DNS codes, these game breaking money exploits are, you know, these are stopping DLC from being released. So if you guys are wondering when, when is GTA 5 coming out with, you know, new DLC, then you guys need to realise that they're working on these, getting these glitches patched, getting these exploits patched 
before they do anything. And I know I may be coming across like a little bit of a hypocrite right now because I have posted money exploits and glitches in the past, along with a lot of other YouTubers that did it. But we all now see the error of our ways. We all kind of grouped up in a Skype call to agree to make this kind of video for you guys today. As people that I keep posting this content don't realize that they're actually getting their subscribers banned. None of us want you guys to get banned. You guys are the reason why we're all here today making videos. Why would we want you guys to get banned? It's something really bad. It's something that needs to be really be looked at. And um, yeah, guys, say no to DNS code. Say no to money lobbies. Try to stay a bit legit at least. You know, just do the, the a few of the RP glitches here and there maybe. Just don't do anything too game breaking. Don't do, don't do anything too overboard because you will get banned. And that's something I'm sure you don't want. Anyway guys, with that said, I hope I come across like in the right way in this video. Hopefully I don't come across like a complete hypocrite. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. A lot of other YouTubers are going to be making videos like this, so I'm sure you guys are going to see that anyway. With that said guys, that is pretty much it from me. So if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button down below as it would really help me out guys. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Young niggas running the game with how it goes. Hit from the bottom too. She know I'm grinding, so she come around the blow. When you getting cash, they be really gone. Still hang up on them blocks. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war, war never changes.